Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to be doing the final plot battle of the Trails in Time second chapter event, which is called Memories in the Sky. So let's just jump in and get started. So for this particular battle, all you have to do is, let me just skip all this chatter first. You have six heroes and you need to get every single hero into one of those portals. So I'm just going to get started to show where those time rifts or portals are. Okay. Alright, so for this particular fight, the hardest part is probably to get Rene into her time rift. Uh, what you can do though is... I'm going to have Rene free strike this lava taken on the right to start. And I'm going to send Olivier north. So he's heading towards that northern one. And then Leonhard is going to just literally teleport himself into one of the rifts. And there we go. That finishes off the first one. We're going to have Joshua then. Phantom Raid and get ready to get into the second rift. Other than that, I think what I'm going to do here is have Chloe toss out her AoE attack to weaken these two. And I'm going to... What? Why don't I whirlwind staff with Estelle? Do some AOE damage. Because I know Clo Yeah. I know the Orc Berserker will use Roar to remove the buffs on Estelle. And Estelle and Chloe get attacked on their side. Quite a bit, actually. But overall, it's going quite well. So, what's next is I'm going to aim up Olivier and have him move into his okay. I'm gonna have Joshua move into his and he might as well double tap the lava taken before he disappears. And Rene of course is gonna move into hers, might as well launch out a final fireball. And with that, there's just two rifts left, the two on the left. So what I'm going to do here is... Have Estelle cheer. Right? And I'm going to first Aurora ring with Chloe. Because that way Estelle will be able to heal up after she uses her cheer skill. Some more enemies spawn. At this point, I'm going to have Estelle Phoenix Wave. And Chloe is going to attack this Lava Titan. So that's her path to the end. Alright. 
Alright. So at this point, Estelle faces off against a Hellhound, finishing it off. And now both of these remaining characters can move into their endpoints. So, Chloe runs into hers, and Estelle runs into hers, ending the fight. And that's it. So, really, the only challenging part of this was figuring out how to get Estelle and Chloe into their endpoints, but even that was honestly not that difficult either. And there we go. So that is the final battle, plot battle I should say, of the Trails in Time second chapter event. Next up is to do the challenges. And there's already been one challenge unlocked, uh, so I'll do that in a separate video shortly. Other than that, of course, the final section of the Trails in Time rewards has now been unlocked. More shards to get, you know, more materials. I'm going to exchange for items, you know, but I have to do more fights here because the light bulbs is the only ones that I have not properly farmed yet. But I'll, you know, exchange for the accessory, which was a star earring, garbage. And I'm going to go after you know, some of the class materials and anarchy treasures right away because I'm going to need them for tomorrow uh, when. Well, I also get the 30 shards right away, so I'm going to have a 6-star Olivier. But I am going to have to farm this map a bit, because I'm going to need the energy treasures and the level 55 class materials for the uh, for tomorrow's release of Deedlet. And that's it. So thanks for watching everyone, I hope you found this video useful to you. And on that note, Nitro out.